to my channel so today I'm gonna do the very highly requested my go-to everyday makeup look using the Pons BB cream it's literally such a short video I know um, but it literally takes you like two to five minutes to do this complete face and yeah I know it's not like full coverage it's a very sheer everyday look so you are gonna see a little imperfections come through but I think that's the whole point of not wearing heavy makeup and I really love this sometimes I basically I wear this every day so yeah if you want to know how to get this super easy look please keep on watching okay so let's begin um, my skin is feeling really really dry today I don't know why that is but um, I'm gonna take the St. Ives moisturizing cream Ives Ives and it's like half this has been such a beautiful moisturizer it smells amazing and it's so light on the skin it's just beautiful so I'm just gonna dunk my face into this literally because I'm yeah my skin's feeling very dry today especially around the nose you don't want to tug and pull on your skin again like moving it too much you just want to pat it on your skin So now that we moisturize our skin, let's move on to the star of this tutorial that is the Pons BB Cream. So I don't usually put on primer before the BB Cream, that's because I'm always on the go and this is just for maybe, um, I'm just going out for a little errand or something like that and I don't really need a primer. But if you have large pores and you think you need a primer, go ahead and use it. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to take the Pons BB Cream. This is my fourth tube already, so I'm just going to take that on my stippling brush. Just gonna layer some on. It's so hot these days, it is so hot. I'm just gonna take that Pons BB cream, oop, and I'm just gonna put that on my skin. Gosh, my hair is in the way need to clip it back much better I don't know how people do their makeup with their hair all over their face I just I can't do it I cannot do it so usually I go over like if I'm not using concealer I'll just use the BB cream and do the other steps but this is um sort of my everyday look like if I do have a really long day and I don't feel like wearing foundation this is exactly what I do and trust me I do this a lot of times like I just don't want to wear heavy foundation that day and I'll just go in with the BB cream so obviously the BB cream is not a foundation and it's not gonna hide all my imperfection it's just gonna give a sheer layer so I'm just gonna take my fit me concealer I'm not going in with the MAC concealer first and then the fit me because again we want this to be really light so I'm not going to go all crazy with my concealer as well just to um, you know hide the little imperfections that's it and for this I'm going to use my beauty blender you can obviously use your fingers my skin has been through something lately just getting breakouts around my cheek area it's the weather it's getting so hot and humid plus I'm just doing a lot of Halloween looks like you guys know I'm very sorry about the background noise, I'm very close to the window. So that's it for my concealer, just one layer. Um, it's very sheer. I'm just gonna do a little bit of baking because that works for me. Um, but if you just, if your eyes do not crease and if you're good with just setting your concealer with a compact, that's amazing. I wish I didn't crease under my eye but I just have to do the baking method. That's the only way my eye stays completely flawless but obviously you can set it with a compact or any other loose powder that you have that's it so since the BB cream is a little tacky like you can feel it it's a little sticky you want to set it with your loose powder so just go over it very lightly since we're not going to go in with eyeshadow you want to make sure that there are no creases on your lid so you want to set them properly so we're done with our base. I usually skip my brows because I've got quite defined brows. I don't need it to be done as such. But if you need your brows to be done, go ahead and do it. I'm just going to take my MAC Matte Bronze and just roughly contour my nose. Just for some definition. That's it. I'm not going to go all crazy. And I'm going to move on to my blush. For blush, I'm just going to take this 
um, Miss Claire in number 17 and I'm just gonna pop that on my cheeks. This literally takes me five minutes. It's because I'm filming for you guys. I need to talk through. But otherwise, this really is so simple. It just is your basic everyday makeup look. You just you can wear this for office or college. You know, I think this is what I would wear. Um, obviously, avoiding the concealer and stuff. You don't have to go with the concealer every single day. Again, it depends on personal preference, to be honest. There's still some imperfection. I see. What's mama gonna do with that there? Uh... Now that we've got rosy cheeks, I'm gonna move on to mascara. For mascara, I'm using a drugstore brand, Hypercurl, my most favorite drugstore mascara of all time. Throw on some mascara, now I'm gonna move on to lips. I'm gonna use the pack Mauve. This is my everyday go-to lip color. Now for lipstick, my most favorite combination has been Miss Claire's, number 47 and 31. 47 is like this cute baby pink lips. So it's really pink. Um, so I'm gonna tone it down with some 31. I miss the 02 and 04, they're out of stock, so. Nothing new for me. And I'm just gonna finish off using some highlighter. You guys know my day is not complete without a highlighter. I do go without highlighter some days, but um, I generally like to give that flush to my cheeks. Little glow, can you see that? That looks really healthy and fresh and that's why I like to pop that just on my cheekbones a little bit. So this is the final result. Um, wasn't this easy? It literally will take you five minutes to do your makeup. Um, so this is how I wear my makeup when I want to meet a friend or if I'm just going for like an entire day and I know it's going to be um, too heavy if I wear a foundation. So I love the Pons BB Cream. It's my ride or die cream forever. I hope this never goes out of stock because this is my go-to foundation for my everyday makeup look. So definitely invest in a good BB Cream. I think this is the one for me um, so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video I know it was a very tiny video but you guys wanted to see it so badly and I could not wait to show it to you so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video if you did please don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to me because I love you guys so much and I will be back with more videos I love you guys <laughs>